Um, I was going to say, I I just wanted to address something with Dash really quickly while I was thinking about it. Uh, Dash, I don't know how comfortable you are talking about this, but I thought it was really cool that you talked about the CSGO win from Cloud9 at mm -hmm. the Major this past weekend. I think a lot of people, you know, there... Uh, there's a lot of people outside of the League of Legends fan base in esports that I think feels as though Riot is, is super competitive, and, and I very much disagree with this, but like out to get other esports. And so I think it was probably surprising for a lot of people who who saw like a call out to an event that's happening on another stream at that moment. Do you, I'm just kind of curious if you have a backstory behind how that happened. And I saw, I think Mark was the one that tweeted that all the analysts at, at Desk was also watching the CSGO Major while that was happening. So... Any mm -hmm. any kind of backstory, I think it's kind of fun to hear about that. I mean, I think the backstory... Well, so first of all, just the point, which is like the, the kind of the... Um, God, what right. is the stereotype right. that Riot... Yeah, sport, the stereotype yeah. that Riot... Is that we're, we're a cautious company, and I think that that's... Uh, I don't think that the I don't think that the opinion of people is necessarily unfair. I do think we're a more cautious company than others in some cases in terms of like how and where do we engage with certain conversations. Um, but whenever i'm in a meeting or a conversation at riot when it comes to esports uh and talking to esports leadership and what you know the direction of esports and what is a what is a, a good you know a good image or picture of esports in the future it involves more than just us a healthy esports landscape is not just league of legends um if it's just us then something's gone terribly terribly wrong and so um absolutely when one's esports exceeds so do we um but with that the, our caution like that that idea of being cautionary um that's where we ask ourselves is it relevant to the moment um and so the backstory there is as an example if 100 thieves had uh, had won we we weren't going to make that announcement there uh because it was it didn't feel proper to come out of a c9 loss to 100 thieves and immediately say hey I know 100 Thieves just won, but like, let's talk about the C9 CSGO team in this, you know, um, if it was an org that was North American, but wasn't in league, we also probably would not have made a mention of it, right? Because it does, doesn't necessarily pertain to our viewers. And that's our biggest responsibility is to our viewers uh, before everyone else. And so again, because a few things lined up and were happily married and that it was C9, it was the first NA team winning a major. And, it, you know, it's like, a, that's a big story. And it was coming off of their game. It, it ended up being a no brainer. So I think it was ultimately an easier decision than maybe the community thought it was for us to make. But we were like, why the hell not would we celebrate yeah, all the stars kind one of, of our orgs, you know, doing this it following the C9 game. And yes, we were 100% watching on Mark's phone, actually on the analyst desk we had the uh the game up on the monitors like on the big monitors and mark and i were hunched over the desk just staring at his phone watching that over time and we were losing our shit yeah like literally it. screaming like when they tied up the first ot and it was... Ugh, so yeah. nuts yeah so nuts such a good series what's cool. interesting and this doesn't really have any relevance to what we were just talking about was i was checking like the viewership between the two games as this fluctuated and it's cool that like um there are fans of both games so like you know obviously that is one of the biggest things going on in the csgo calendar year they had like a million people on the channel uh, and we were at i think around 160 when that was going on and then immediately after the major ended they dropped down to like 400 000 if people like watching kind of like the analyst desk wrap up and stuff and we went up to around 190 <laughs> which is like you know 30 000 people stopped watching yeah. the csgo major and moved over to this it's like esport fans are fans of multiple games and so like you can kind of service both riot viewers and understand that they're probably watching other stuff too yeah, yeah. that's cool